we'll get it all sequenced back eventually. Yeah. So this is to focus in on some particularly challenging move that blows people's minds, like clown hands, like repulse monkeys, like snake creeps down, like four corners, like the kicking section. <laughs> I might help both of y'all. Exactly. The Review the kicking of the box. The box the tires. Yeah, that, yeah. was, that was just fun. Whatever the yeah. longest piece. No, that's a that's a so let's do um let's do the major kicking section including box the tires. That's gonna be a lot. Y'all ready? Right? Okay, yeah. let's just try it. So let's start from our hidden hand punch. Alright, let's turn. Well it turns turns every which way. I know it turns every which way, so I think it's just giving us tips. So I'll just say the names and let's move together and see what we get. So strike with heel right. Hit the tiger left. Hit the tiger right. Strike with heel right. Box tiger's ears. Strike with heel left. Turn, strike with heel right. And it ends in a hidden hand punch. So yeah, that's too many moves to focus on. Let's look at that box of tiger's ears. <laughs> oh yeah, that hidden hand punch is tricky, but so um Box the tiger's ears. Here's how I would break it down for someone learning it who is not too physically challenged in knees and hips and stuff. I would say let the right foot go back. Pull the knee up. Pull the arms down as you turn to the right. Pivot on the ball of the foot. Then you step and hit the ears. Any question on that instructional version, Mr. Burns? Mr. Barry? No, I just keep it. Okay, try it. Try it on your own. And I'll look for what else I can possibly help you with in these next five minutes. Okay, cool. Uh, well, where do we start? Start to feel right to get starting, because then we'll write a four so you can start from there. We're just doing the box the tiger's ears, not the hit the tiger. Just the. Uh, 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 sorry, where was your hand? I'm gonna strike a feel right to the foot. Sure. 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 swing up, there's sort of like a natural path through the arms and the shoulders, and um, mm -hmm. hold there, yeah, and then twist just a little more, yeah, so it'd be like, yeah, exactly, this, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, there it is, there you spin, it's a step, right, and this, the right leg, yeah, the, the leg doesn't kick out though, so yeah, the knee comes up, boom, oh, no, I was simulating my spin, oh, okay. sorry, <laughs> so it's a, Okay, and then that's the, that's the correct spin, but then the right foot is what helps you get around. So it comes down and then up, as opposed to kind of just coming around. Better, yeah, there you go. And then where you go? And then right there, while your knee's coming up, your hands are coming down. Yeah. There you go, and then you step and then shift and then come around. All right, that's it. All right. Yeah, try a few more. If you have questions, just blur them out.
trick in yam style is your center moves at a constant speed, but your extremity don't, right? So kind of like different gear ratios. You want to feel your center kind of constantly moving while the arms are. And this one is tricky because it always feels like a stop in the flow. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So let me try to demonstrate. So when I come around, I feel my center stop for a moment just to get my balance here, but the arms won't. So watch, just watch, and I'll try to give you an honest sort of tempo of it. So this will go kind of slow. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. Once it all gets centered up, then I let the moment to start forward. So, yeah, so if you go to the, yeah, this, this might help both of y'all. If you go to the website, the, do you know the member section? It's not, it's, it's a little sneaky, but not very sneaky. So I remember, you, I remember a long, a long time ago, somebody was trying to explain how it was, it was something about the symbol, you click on the symbol or something. Yeah, if you're on your, if you're on your desktop, it'll, it'll just click the logo and you'll go there. Password's okay. Black Sash, username's Black Sash, all one word, Black Sash. Okay. And then if you go to the Tai Chi requirements page, um, there's like the list of moves, there's videos of all the moves. We went through the YouTube and like curated videos of all the moves. And, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. And I think maybe even on the Tai Chi, regular Tai Chi page of the website, at the bottom, there might be a move list there, I forget. Can I get to them through YouTube? Like if it's on my, you know like how you have YouTube app mm -hmm. on your TV? Mm -hmm. I should be able to get through all, get through all that. So yeah, I mean, it gets a little, you know, yeah, like, what, cool. like typing with your remote or whatever, but if you search, the, if you can search the channel in the app you're using. No, my phone, my, everything lets me type on my phone. So I can, I can even voice check, tell it. Right. To, to so search. if you're able in the YouTube app to search the channel and not all of YouTube, yes, you can probably find it. Okay. All right. That's okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, the only like modification I would give you right now is that the hands will come in closer and on almost like a chin spirally feel through them as they twist it. Thank you, sir. Not an advanced, and we're going to do Master's Path is missed.